Watch these, shall we? Christopher Sendivaza is a traditional farmer of the typical cash crops like maize and coffee. And yet after more than 40 years, he has recently embraced the growth of Haas Avocado, one of the newest additions to government's list of high-value cash crops. <laughs> Then last year, I had a program from Honorable Mugunuza. He was on radio talking about Hass Avocado. He said government has financed the project. From then, I fell in love with it. I then went to Chiangu Tunzi for more studies about Hass Avocado. Then I asked for the seedlings. They gave me about 320 seedlings for the start. If possible, I will plant more on about 30 acres because I have a lot of land. Christopher is one of the many outgrower farmers for Hass Avocado aiming at planting up to 30 acres of the crop. The decision is anchored by real income calculation based on global demand and supply. We were told that one kg of Hass Avocado can earn you up to one dollar, which when you convert to Ugandan shillings, it's about 3,600, which is a lot of money, far better than what you earn from coffee or other plants. This is attested to by NAD Secretariat spokesperson Khadija Nakakandi. So last financial year we started supporting our farmers with the Hass Avocado seedlings, with the Macadamia seedlings, and our aim for starters we want to boost the production of these crops. And then maybe later on we can talk about the issue of value addition. As you can all recall that uh, Uganda has always been called a country of samples and we want to change that narrative. Seeing that Uganda is still lagging behind Kenya and Tanzania in the production, it's now a key focus by government through NADS anchored by eight commercial farmers with over 50 acres under cultivation who form the nucleus of the value chain around whom outgrower farmers are built. Before we were dealing with uh, nurseries, as long as you have a nursery, we shall come to you with the refine, we look at the quality, we look at the variety that you have, and then we give you a contract and you can supply to our farmers. But that is also changing. This time around, our support to the macadamia, the hasovacado, and the cashew nuts, we are focusing on working with the nucleus farmers. Why the nucleus farmers? It's because the nucleus farmer is already into the business of growing this house of avocado, of growing the macadamia, meaning they have an interest in this crop. And they are helping us to support the new farmers who are coming on board. Those who are growing the house of avocado, the macadamia, the cashew nuts for the first time. We've always had challenges of uh, providing extension services to our farmers. Of course, the ratio is not a good one. We have one extension officer that is handling more than 500 farmers. By the time he reaches the last farmer, maybe the farmer has even lost the crops. So we are saying these are nucleus farmers, they have the nurseries, they also have the gardens or the orchards, like the one we are looking at here in Chitagwenda, over 200, and, 200 acres of house of the kettle. He has the extension officers, he has experience in growing this house of the kettle. So the kind of partnership that we have established with the nucleus farmers, they will not only stop at providing the seedlings to our farmers, but they will continue following up with these farmers, supporting them with the technical information and the technical advice that our farmers need to grow together, walk with them the journey 
until the time of harvest. The outgrowers contribute 30% to the cost of seedlings and government 70%. Seedlings overall cost ranges between 7,000 shillings and 10,000 shillings for Haas Avocado and Macadamia.